Hey, Travis Reeser here. Thanks for tuning in. So I wanted to address a question that's been coming up a lot to me. As people asking, hey, here in 2022, Travis, should we buy a house? I heard it's a seller's market, which it is a seller's market. And traditionally, that means it's a great time to sell, not a great time to buy. However, it's a little different right now. Uh, my advice to, to most of my friends and clients, if you don't have to sell something, keep holding on because there's a shortage of housing and values are going through the roof and not supposed to stop doing what they're doing anytime within the next two to three years. So can't don't have a crystal ball and can't predict the future, but values are going up quite a bit. So does that make it a good time to buy? Absolutely. Um, I think the safer money is to buy now, um, or if you're thinking of trading up, a good time to trade up to the larger house. Um, they're going up in value pretty close to as much as the smaller houses are percentage wise. And interest rates are still really good. So, I mean, if you can go out there right now and say you lock in three and a half percent, if those rates, and they have, there, you know, been speculation of them them going up a lot more. I don't think that they will go up a huge amount. And the sources that I'm studying, as long as we've got a war going on over in Europe, that the Fed's going to go up much. Um, but if it goes up even a point on a 30-year fixed mortgage, you lose approximately 10% of your buying power. So if you just take a middle of the road house, which now in Clarksville for the first time is actually over 300,000 here at the beginning of the, the first couple of months of 2022, our average sales price has been 303,000. So um, if you just take that though, and you lose 10% of that, and you know, you've got to uh, shop $30,000 less while values are doing the opposite, you know, and going up, uh, about two percentage points a month in a lot of subdivisions around here. It just makes sense to get in sooner than later. Just even waiting, you know, waiting another six, nine months uh, can cost you lots of tens of thousands of dollars. Now, as far as selling it right now, though, if you're more risk adverse and just want to make sure you sell when it's really safe, it's an investment property that you didn't want to hold on to, that type of thing, it, it can be a great time for that because, you know, there's not, uh, there's a lot of traffic and people are getting great offers and selling their, their houses over list price. And uh, yeah, it's a fun time to be a seller too if you if had something you need to sell. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or a member of our team. We'd be glad to talk with you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless.